before you comment on my curtain that is too short for the window, don't. Just don't resist. I already feel embarrassed. Also, thank you so much to Made in Form for sponsoring today's video. You will hear me talk about them a little bit later in this video. So I have been seeing a lot of people waking up at 5 a.m. recently and making videos about their experiences. I have been waking up at like 10 a.m. recently. So I'm going to try waking up at 5 a.m. Also, I have a lot of like little mini tasks that I need to get done that I've been putting off like all week. So we're gonna do those things. I still have my makeup on and everything, so I have to get ready for bed and I will see you in the morning. Morning. <laughs> I can smell my morning breath. Mm. Also, this is a cute angle. I feel so tired. I also feel like a little excited. And I also feel like I kind of want to cry. It's just like so early and it's just bringing out all these emotions. Maybe we should do like a morning dance to wake us up. Okay, update. I am being way too dramatic about this. Like people wake up early all the time. I am aware, but I'm just so tired. I will say I'm moving slower than usual. Like when I woke up, it was dark outside and now the sun is like, she's fully shining and I've done like two things. And I think I just really need some coffee. Also, why did I just do this like cutaway interview session to give you my reaction on this video? I don't know what that was. Let's move along. So I just realized that I ran out of my go-to cold brew that I always buy. So I am making hot coffee this morning. Not stoked about it, but it will have to work. Why can't I get this off? I am so tired that every noise is like scaring me. Like the coffee pot just scared me so bad. Also, I should have mentioned, I didn't fall asleep last night until like 3 a.m. But you know what? We're gonna push through today. We are gonna have a productive, beautiful, thriving day. Mark my words. Hi, buddy. I was just gonna enjoy a cute little cookie with my coffee and I choked on it. So I think my throat is permanently scratched. Pretty exciting. We love a little drama, but the coffee is kicking in. So I'm actually feeling like I have a lot of energy and it kind of feels nice to be awake this early. So I'm gonna go change and take the dogs on a walk. I'm gonna do it separately. I don't think I can handle their combined energy right now. So we're just gonna do one at a time. So I'm just gonna put on some sweatpants and a hoodie for our dog walk. This is also a perfect time to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Made in Form. So I'm currently wearing Made in Form's One Fabulous Fit Modern Demi Bra. Super comfy, really love the way that it makes everything look. 10 out of 10. So I've actually been wearing Made in Form bras for several years now. Like genuinely, I've loved them for so long because they just always come through with like the support and the quality while also still being like really affordable and accessible. They're kind of like a best friend. Like they're reliable, they got your back and your boobs. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but like it's true for me, but anyways. So it has smart zone shaping in the cups, which helps provide that shape and support. You never want your bra to feel like constricting. So it really kind of molds and fits your body for what it uniquely already is. And the smart cup technology provides lift and support. I don't know about you, but I want my cups to be smart. Like if my cups aren't smart, don't want them. And as if it couldn't get any better, the pricing is also phenomenal, especially compared to other brands. And also considering just like the undeniable fact that the quality is so impressive. They come in a wide variety of colors, patterns, styles, even including like a racer back and full coverage style. So there really is something for everybody's body type, everybody's shape, and whatever your preferences are when it comes to color and style. So if you're in the market for a new bra and you want something that is reliable and is gonna make you feel good and confident, you can go to maidenform.com to check out all of their latest styles. I will have the link below, so check them out. Here is the fit. Pretty cute. Not really. I'm not gonna lie, being awake this early kind of feels like I'm like the only person alive. <laughs> Obviously not true. Plenty of people awake right now living their lives, but I kind of feel like I'm living in the opening credits of like a cliche coming of age film. I'm 
I'm loving it. I also just realized that my sweater is backwards. I don't think there's a better representation for my mental state right now than that. Although I will say, like, I do feel more refreshed, but it just feels like I have so much more time to be productive. I want a house in the hills I pay big bills for. I ain't got a pocket. I want to empty out my wallet. I want to stop motion, stand still. Wallace and Gromit. I want to talk more endlessly. I want to neurotically vomit. I want more dollars from my mama. I want a palace in Prada. I want a Gucci bag where I can store my sorrows and hardships. I want to go plate my pines. I want endless tomorrows. I want a lot more than I got right now. That's the problem. You could give me every little thing I'd ever want, but I'd never have enough till the day I had it all. You can give me every little thing I ever want, but I'd never have enough to the day I had it. I was gonna take my car in to get washed today, but then I remembered I literally have all of the supplies to just do it myself. And since today is a productive day of us getting our lives together, I'm gonna wash it myself, even though it's a little hard because it's like so tall, so I have to have like a stool. This should be interesting. I've already accepted that this is not gonna be nearly as good as like actually going to the car wash, but it will be good enough. <laughs> I am sweating so much right now. That took so much longer than I wanted it to, and it didn't even come out that good. I'm not even gonna lie. It is a very mediocre job that I did on this car, but it works, it'll do. She's cute. Notice how I'm not letting the camera focus on my car so that you can't really see how bad it is? Tactics. That was such a fun meeting. I haven't had an in-person meeting since like I think before the pandemic like it's been so long and I feel like I've lost majority of my social skills over the past year since I haven't seen a lot of people. I mean actually nah that's that's a complete lie. I didn't ever have the best social skills to begin with. It's a good excuse though. So now I am at the nail salon and I'm about to get my nails done. I actually promised myself I would never get my nails done again because I used to always get acrylics like back in 2017, 2016. 16. And the amount of times I've had a broken nail that like literally the worst broken nail you could think of just like bleeding terrible But I've just written them off and decided they're not for me yet. Here we are I'm actually obsessed. I don't know if you could see, but I got like this tortoise shell sort of design. My nail obsession has officially continued. We were on a break and now we're back. And I'm not mad at it. I'm also really scared because I just tried to go pee right after they did my nails and I couldn't zip up my pants. Also, I busted my lip at some point today, so that's good. Coffee number two. I'm tired. I think this is the best one I've ever made. Or I'm just so tired that like all of my senses have very low standards right now because everything around me just feels so heightened. So the next thing on today's to-do list of Bethany getting her life together, Dom and I actually decided to have like a little picnic date tonight on the beach. I'm doing like a spaghetti squash baked thing that I saw a recipe for online and then a broccoli roasted salad. They look delicious. I'm also gonna put together like some fruit and like some other little snacks to put in the picnic basket it's gonna be kind of cute like it might be a vibe it'll be something So I know you guys have seen me change like five times today. And yet again, she changed. So we're moving along pretty well. I have my squash in the oven. I think I have like an hour left to prep everything. five minutes of sun time if you didn't have to go pee every five seconds. I do actually have to pee again. Oh my God. <laughs> Once again, thanks so much to Made in Form for sponsoring today's video. And it's a ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and